In this project, we're going to see if we can make a Kitty Paw keycap into a keypad. If you find squishing toe beans enjoyable, why not make the toe beans into buttons you can press? This four button keypad can be customized to trigger keyboard shortcuts. We really like musical instruments, so of course we also made this into a MIDI controller. We thought it'd be really funny to have Party Parrot animated on the TFT display. So each time a key is pressed, the animation advances a frame, so it looks like it's dancing. Based on the Cutie Pie RP2040, this CircuitPython dev board is perfect for those creative projects. Featuring the RP2040, it's pretty much the only chipset you're going to get these days. It has just enough pins for buttons, sensors, and even an SPI display like the one we have here. Each Tobin keycap is 3D printed and press fits over these kale box switches and honestly they're really enjoyable to press. The parts list is pretty minimal on this one, just a few switches, the cutie pie, and the color TFT. The enclosure is all 3D printed with parts that snap fit together and no support material. You can of course get the full list, links are in the description. The code for this project was made with CircuitPython. Liz Clark wrote the code as a good resource for projects with USB HAD, MIDI, and a display. Liz made it really easy to switch between modes by setting it to either true or false. Be sure to get the whole breakdown of the code by checking out Liz's code walkthrough. The key codes and MIDI notes can be customized so you can make this do just about anything you want. So if you're just getting started with programming electronics, Adafruit CircuitPython is great if you want to quickly get up and running. Project Bundle makes it easy to download code from Adafruit's Learn system. Just click the button above the embed to get the code, images, and more importantly, all of the libraries. Unzip the download and simply drag and drop them onto your board's USB drive. Thanks to the Project Bundler, code has never been more accessible, maybe even for cats. The display and switches are mounted to a 3D printed key plate. The key plate is press fitted into the frame with the keycaps installed over the switches. The Cutie Pie is also press fitted. It snaps into a built-in holder on the bottom cover. The bottom cover is snap fitted under the frame and lines up with the USB port. Lastly, the top cover fits over the frame with the display cover fitted underneath. Designing the enclosure allowed me to come up with a good recipe for making oddly shaped cases that need to snap fit. Using 3D models of the components really helps speed up the designing process, so I've made them available to download on our GitHub repo so folks can use them too. So there you have it, a keypad in the shape of a kitty paw. Who knew toe beans and kale switches would play so well with a party parrot?